Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Essa Ryan and this is Civ6 and today we're sponsored yet again by the letter G for Gran Colombia. Looking forward to this one, I haven't played with these people in a long time. Now once again this game is taken from a mesh of ideas from my channel supporters. If you want to become a channel supporter as well and you fancy helping with the A to Z challenge construction ideas, I don't know what the process would necessarily be called, but you can find them on Coffee and Patreon. Very, very cool place to support me. But let's get into the meat of the game. I was given quite a few different ideas with Gran Colombia involving basically using their war domination to liberate South America and to take on Europeans and to show off their unique cavalry and unique improvements. I think there was an idea to play them with a later start so it could be more of a sort of industrial era scrap I guess. But what I've done is I've sort of blended a few ideas together to show off a few things. Now I wanted to have a go with vampires. I thought vampires and Gran Colombia was a fantastic idea because the plus one movement on all units means that vampires go from two to three movement and become actually reasonably competent. Plus we haven't had a good vampire run in some time. And I also wanted to practice my own early game war strats because honestly the last time I decided to go out on a series and say let's practice early war I think I ended up basically throwing the game and it was really bad and it was just the worst in thing. So Grand Columbia are actually early game war specialists and we want to see if we can get use of them. So that's what we're going to do. I forced a game where we have Spain and Portugal loaded into the game and we're going to try for domination. We're going to take on the Europeans. It should be lots of fun. I'm also going to go for vampires. So what map do you say? Well, there are a few mods that we're using. Only three actually. Standard speed, secret societies mode is on, but you'll see that Deity++ is back. Well, that's because Deity++ has finally been updated and overhauled by the modding legend that is Fuzzle and Myopic Cat. I think Myopic Cat might have been the original modder and Fuzzle has brought it in. I Apologies if I've got that wrong. Yeah, look, there we go. It even says it here. The original author, Myopic Cat, and then Fuzzle has made minor edits to kind of fix it and bring it onto the Steam Workshop. This was a mod we were using for some time and it makes the computer better than Deity. If anything, we are two stages above now and even better, it's more difficult than we've even used it before because it's been fixed. It even gives three various modes on how to start. Either you play regular mode where the AI starts with big bonuses and they're like three settlers and three warriors and all that stuff. And then it has yield bonuses on top of that. There's a second mode that takes away all of the early game bonuses but increases the yields quite dramatically. And then a third, which is sort of halfway between. So to give you an example, deity mode regularly as the game puts it gives the AI three starting settlers, five warriors, two builders, and it gives them 40% extra science, culture and faith, 100% production and gold, as well as a little bit of combat strength and unit experience and all that stuff. What we're doing is I'm going to be practicing and trying out option two, which is where the AI gets no starting units or starting bonuses, but they get huge bonuses to make up for that. And I've got it on Deity++, which is effectively mode number 10. So the AI will get one settler, so no bonuses, one warrior, no bonuses, no builders either. But to make up for that, it gets 112% extra science, culture and faith. That's more than double. And then 175% production in gold. The AI is going to become a monster in the late game. So they have no bonus over us at the beginning, but they are more than doubling our science, culture and faith output and almost tripling our production in gold. As well as that, they get the Deity++ plus, plus, plus six combat strength bonus, as well as getting 70 unit XP every time they make something. It's going to be a very tricky game and I'm looking forward. Thank you again, Fuzzle, for taking Deity++ plus, plus and updating it. It was one of my favorite mods and it actually makes the game a little harder to try and make it challenging because as we all know, Deity mode is pretty easy when you get your head around it. I have on Faster Secret Society Discovery. I play with this mod when I want to play with a specific secret society because it's how the game is programmed. I'm like, right, I want to play with vampires. I don't want to be having to go around the map looking for them for 700 turns. So I've kind of rigged it so that they will always appear. And I'm also playing with the Wait It's All South America mod. So the map is basically a TSL world, except it's all South America. Every continent is shaped like South America. It's wonderful. So I have started on South America, but I have a feeling I've started in Asia. So you'll see, it it's crazy. Remember, all mods and all game save files are on Discord, so come along and have a look at them, copy and paste whatever you want onto your computers and play along with me. And you can see 
Everest. We have started next to Everest. That is absolutely crazy. Now, I was thinking about whether I went for a religion this game. I shall be going for a religion, of course, because, you know, Everest is there. And we also actually have stone right next to us as well. So we do have the option here of going for Stonehenge if we wanted to. Don't know if we'll be able to rush it with the AI getting such crazy bonuses. I'm just going to settle in place. I could have moved to this Plains Hill tile, but I think actually the 2-2 I'm working there and then the abundance of good tiles sort of around me, kind of on the third tier. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with settling there. That's all fine. But already you can see if I put a holy site down on that tile, that is a whopping plus six. Now the problem I do have is that that is kind of hidden underneath a mine. So maybe this is a Stonehenge rush. I don't know, but already a plus six work ethic start sounds pretty tasty to me. Anyway, we'll go and uh, go and sort of see the map. I've j that is no, no, that's golden um, culture. That's um, potato. Oh, I don't know how you pronounce that, but that's another wonder right above me. Yep. Okay, if you want to play this map, it's on Discord. You'll want to play this one with me. The thing is, if I've started next to already two separate wonders, I dread to think what the AI has started next to. Uh, we found Hermetic Order already. I'm going to wait until Sanguine Pact and I'm going to just pick it up immediately. I think that's going to be the thing for me to do. So hopefully by just coming around and discovering it. Yep, Potati as discovering. That's just an amazing thing. Um, I found Void Singers. This is just the mod kicking in. And look, we've already discovered Sanguine Pact. I know it's a little rigged, but I just wanted to make sure that we actually had vampires in the game. Uh, and of course, it's the return of Lord Sucklington, a good friend of the channel and somebody hungry for South American liberation. Mmm, tasty. Nothing says hunger, tasty fun times for Lord Sucklington like the blood of European oppressors and look at that cape. Oh, that's a, uh, he seems to constantly be in the wind. I love that. You very rarely actually zoom in too much on uh, troops like this, but yeah, Lord Sucklington, damn. Looking good. Oh, there's a barb encampment and also a tribal hut. So I would have found something around me at some point. That's pretty good. Um, should we use Lord Sucklington to go and explore? Probably for the best. Whilst he's on 20 uh, combat strength, he's not very good. And you'll see now that this is my plus one movement to all units means that Lord Sucklington actually can travel around and see things, which is pretty cool. I'm actually pretty contained. This is a very nice little safe start, assuming I don't get, you know, started next to people. Mogadishu? Mogadishu is trading units immune to getting plundered at sea. Helpful whilst at war, actually, for domination games. That's not too bad a, a city-state to find. What I might do is I might let that barb outpost just feed me for a little bit. I'll keep Lord Sucklington sort of relatively near and then I'll just farm the barbarians as they spawn. Scouts are going to be a little bit easier to kill. Slingers are going to be a little bit easier to kill and then I'll be able to just sort of get my combat experience up from there. I'm building another warrior to come and help me. I thought it just when you've got the perfect uh, simultaneous growth and warrior combo you have to go for it really so that's what I did. Looks like that's somebody. Is that hungry next to me again? No. Gilgamesh. Oh my goodness, this, we're even started next to Gilgamesh. I've got to do it. Friendship. You have to accept friendship with Gilgamesh turn one as soon as you meet him. It's a moral obligation of Civ and that's fine. I'm happy to, happy to do that. Granada though is quite interesting. Granada means that we could actually attempt to levy some troops and charge over to Gilgamesh maybe. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I think Gilgamesh is going to be target number two. We're going to see if we can find anyone else to fight. Uh, I'm going to rush this whole Sattler whilst I go down Astrology into Mining. And by the time those are done, the Sattler should be done and we should be good to go. Now, I was going to go and settle towards this natural wonder to start with, but I think claiming this mountain pass and the wine is going to be a really good defensive location to stop Gilgamesh from settling Wait, towards me and taking my lands. Yeah, okay, there's going to be a lot of world wonders in this game. Expect the AI to get some pretty decent bonuses. And you can see, even though we didn't start with anything, Gilgamesh is already on 10 science per turn because that one improvement, giving two science, one food and one culture, when all the multipliers have gone in, that would be worth about 4.1, 4. 2.2 science and about 2.1 culture like that's oh yeah the crazy early game bonuses they're going to get are going to be a rather silly let's try and grab a pantheon as well as going discipline to help disperse with a couple of barbs that i think is going to be good look already there's the warrior i was waiting for at least one unit to spawn and now it has we can try and charge in i'm going to try and keep my vampire as healthy as possible oh a scout has just generated which is good as well that's another 
place some. Don't forget the barbs only give up to plus 10. So 10 kills with Lord Sucklington and that's all I will need. Settler number one out and oh, the three movement on settlers is so good. I love it. Uh, let's just wait. I mean, okay, we could rush Stonehenge, but I don't think the production in my empire is going to be good enough here to guarantee that we get that early or quick enough. So instead, Dead. I'm just going to put a couple of turns into a slinger and then, oh no, hang on. No, do we do we go for Stonehenge? Chances of us getting it are so slim and I'd rather put the Holy Site down. Yeah, I think I'd rather put the Holy Site down because that is a good work ethic. Thing is for me, I can either go work ethic for the plus six, which is wonderful and there's going to be some amazing Holy Sites around other cities as well for a good industrial base early game or we go for Feed the World, which is equally fun. It's quite literally a win-win situation. Here is the city just south of the mountain pass on the desert to give me a plus one era score as well as being next to a volcano so actually I got plus two from settling down there which is pretty awesome and I can immediately go into a lovely plus three holy site there's probably going to be more if I settle over towards this way but I think actually a nice plus three is going to be a good use of my time Macedon oh a big European colonizer over in the other direction okay so they're further away than Sumeria nice well I think our early game aggression is probably going to be taken out on somebody like Mogadishu and that's fine we don't mind doing that at all I would rather just get the kill nice and early on and take as many cities as I can now here is the holy site if yeah if we can get work ethic that will be great nobody's going for religion just yet this I think this is a good option for us. Now that I have both of those upgrades, I think we could rush Spearman or Heavy Chariot to improve the strength of my Vampire as well as going for Sailing for the same reason. Galley 30 strength is a really easy way of getting good Vampire strength early on. Do we want to go bronze working and look for iron? I think we'll go for horses to start with. See where the horses are. Let's let that decide on which direction our army is likely to go. Stonehenge, turn 22. Yep, it's a good thing we didn't try and build that, eh? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that would be a war cart. Okay, I don't want you to steal this barb encampment, so I will claim that and take the three era score and the military tradition boost as well. That's awesome. Now, if I settle again towards this natural wonder, that'll be worth a bit of era score, but I need to just watch this. I would quite like to go for a golden age to start with. My holy site will, yep, that is going to also give me some era score. So that'll be three and then another four. And then if I settle on the desert on the other side, maybe, yeah, I think that's actually a good way of making sure that we pull that off. Can we finish off this scout? That'd be good if I could. Oh no, unfortunately not, it survived. But if I can pin that down, that would be a little bit more experience for my vampire. He's on plus two. Let's say, the quicker we can get Lord Suckling into plus 10, the happier I will feel about this situation. There's the era score for the holy sites. Huzzah! Okay, we're getting one profit point per turn. So is somebody else though. I can't rest on my laurels. We're gonna have to start to holy site prayers that. I will get one slinger out just to give me a little bit more combat bonus. Hitler to my left as well. Someone has met them and has already put Armani in, so okay, it looks like we will have at least one other target. Oh no, it's Spain near us. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, and Macedon doesn't like the fact that I'm not fighting anyone. I've already just met people. Leave me be. Pantheon time. What am I going to do? Divine Spark would help me to get that religion nice and quickly and would give me better faith going forward into the game. So that's not a bad idea. Building wonders is often helpful, but Lady of the Reeds and Marshes gives me more production on that marsh tile. Oh, that would help. And there's a marsh tile there. That's already two. So interestingly that's kind of already what I'm thinking would be good for my capital that would suddenly be three two tiles and I've got two of them am I going to get more with the production there than I would do if I just got the eras sorry the, the great person point and I think I will Lady of the Reeds and Marshes I never regret going for that I really don't and there is desert floodplain kind of around as well so yeah I just it's it's such a good one for me Protestantism has gone already Choral music went I forgot to say that that was a little bit ago but that's okay yeah you know what whilst the tiles are nice and cheap I'll pick both of those up and I'll give one of them to this city so that you can work one and you can work one perfect look at that everyone's sharing everyone's doing fine Germany goodness me there's a lot of people on my continent Berlin is down there that's probably my 
first and closest target. If I can just find where their other city is, I think we might be able to just go for them. Yeah, and uh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed we're on course for a golden age here. Etiman Tanky, goodness me, the early game wonders are just running through. If there was any worry that this game would leave the AI not powerful enough by taking away their early game bonuses, oh no, 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 this is uh, this is still, still very good for them. They're, they're doing okay. Vatican is below me as well. There are so many targets around me. Now, I was going pottery because I didn't know if I wanted to drop into writing or irrigation but now I'm thinking masonry the battering rams bronze working to do some early game killing I'll use pingala to get the culture I need we, we just need to batter into these two things it doesn't matter if I trigger emergencies and the AI hates me we've got to just jump in on this early war and I think that's exactly what we're going to do so you know what I'm gonna oh that's uh, that's where Spain is yeah we've got enough close targets around me I think if I get the religion, I put crusade on it, I drop it on the city-states, we can start to attack them and I can build my uh, industry by doing a bit of fighting. So yeah, I've kind of decided in my own head what I'm going to do now. We're going to get bronze working. I want to get myself the encampment. I want to see if I can get an early game great general. They stack beautifully with my commandant generals, which I will pick up in a few turns actually, not too long from now. 10 turns away and then we'll pick one of those up. So that's good. Early empire boost. I've got five turns and I was really struggling to think about how I was going to get that final era score but luckily for me a barb encampment has just spawned next to me so if I go and kill that that's the golden age and that's what I was looking for I was just sort of not flailing but I was a little bit worried that this uh, early game was kind of getting away from me slightly just because we were beelining religion so much it'll all come back in the classical era and I think it's worth it is that bronze working boosted yes I thought I was on the third kill so that's good there's a slinger and get Lord Sucklington in and start to pepper that barb encampment. There's another scout over there. So we should be able to just kind of push this through. But then it means that if I don't get the religion this era, that's not a problem. But I'm going to start to pick up a bit of an army before I can get an encampment into Bogota. I would like actually to... You know, I'm actually going to steal that tile back. I really would like it if I can improve the food in my capital and get an encampment up. Yeah, that's actually timed reasonably well. So we'll try and do that one. Uh, Lord Sucklington, if I can't kill the scout this time around, but we can go and pin them down in a second. So there is the kill. Bam. Here we score. Golden Age. Phew. I was, oh yeah, I, I really didn't want that to get away from me and I'm glad we managed to pull that one back. In fact, what I'm going to do, is it worth just switching to a Gogi? I think it is. Let's do that and let's put urban planning in and now we can just crank out some slingers as quickly as possible. In fact, look at that. Lord Sucklington can actually take care of the scouts themselves. Nom. A little bit of health off, but not a bad outcome seeing as I'm now on plus four from Lord Sucklington. Amazing. Well done to is the classical era hooray and i've got my commandant general perfect now what's the iron situation looking like here do i have it what is it there's a double iron over near mogadishu and i can go and settle on top of the incense to actually go and get both into my empire so suddenly that looks absolutely golden and speaking of absolutely golden i'm going to monumentality it in order to turn my faith into more settlers which is something i would love to do really really soon so let's go and do that how much for settler 150 faith we can do that in a few turns that's not bad at all so my commandant general uh, they five combat strength to land units within two tiles that's a big bonus a huge bonus and what we're going to do is i'm going to kind of take advantage of that by using this to funnel in some city-state troops and we're going to actually declare war on mogadishu pretty early on i want to get them to send their troops towards me go and kill them that is, should we do mitla first the only reason i'm thinking actually leaving mitla alone is that mogadishu I do have an envoy with so let's not push that one let's leave that one alone instead we'll go masonry that's good I can boost that if I just get a builder through quickly so let's do that I kind of like the idea of that we're, we're just getting ready for a settler that's fine before I forget as well an encampment is a really good put down for me I don't know where I want to keep the defense actually 
Um, there's only one tile I can really use, but I don't kind of need and I want to keep my gold for now. So I'm going to get rid of that wheat. Feels a bit like a bad idea, but I think it's the best thing. Just locking in the production. And it means that now if I use this city to buy a settler, I don't have to worry about the population when it comes to then uh, building that encampment later. So I think that's the best way for doing it. Governor title available. There's only one option and it's Pingala. Get into the capital. Give me as much science and culture as you can muster, friend. And we'll go military tradition quickly to pick up the flanking and support bonuses for troops. Makes a bit of a difference when you come to these early game little scraps. Yeah, so Mittler, I think we're going to declare war on them. Let's just make a little bit of aggro, see if I can get some of the troops over and we're just going to keep feeding Lord Sucklington. There's a nice plus five bonus from my general, plus four from Barb Kill. Yeah, we can we can easily improve that. That's not too bad. Oh, get off. Yes, look, right. Now, you should be happy that I'm destroying city-states, Germany. I'll have you know. I really don't want you to be attacking my holy site because I really want that religion. Never mind. Um, Masonry is about to get boosted, so I'm just going to go for iron working quickly. That early game unit rush would be great. And uh, as I mentioned before, I think... I think I'm just going to actually build the settler from my capital just because it's closer and I wasn't really working a good fourth tile there so I think that works for me. Yes, look, okay, right, denounce me all you want Spain, we're Grand Columbia. I am not going to be swayed by your anger. So I'm just going to fight these troops for a little bit, just uh, hold my ground. Nothing spectacular we have to do. As I say, we're just grinding out experience and uh, improvements for my vampire here, so that's not too bad for me at all. And as discussed, there is the quarry. Masonry boosted. Let's just finish that first, and then I get a battering ram in as soon as possible. The good thing is I just was able to improve my slinger with the promotion and then attack in the same turn. I always forget I can do that as Grand Columbia. It's one of the best bits. They are brilliant for it. Now, are you going to attack my vampire or my slinger? They're going to go for the slinger. Interesting. Oh, I guess that's useful in one way. Uh, I, as I said, I want my vampire to actually be close uh, so that I can get the experience kill. Otherwise, it's kind of a bit pointless. So I'm just going to cycle in and out a little bit. If I just swap them around, that's an attack. It won't kill it, but that's fine. I will just kill that unit, which is a bit annoying, but I need to just stop myself from being overwhelmed here. And this is the easiest way to do it. Oh, and Barb uh, encampment kill. Steal that from Germany, get the era score get the promotion. It's all lovely. The unit threw itself against my vampire and I've, I mean this is the field I'm after. If I can get to that farm and pillage it with my vampire we should be in the money. Oh Catholicism just stole feed the wild but it's okay because we got our religion. Who got Catholicism? Was that Spain? No Spain hasn't got a religion yet. That's kind of crazy. I will be taking the cattle and as discussed before, work ethic followed by crusade. Ah, it's the old faithful combo. Now, work ethic already is improving my lands. That's giving me nine extra production. This holy site already is powerful. That is a spearman, by the way. And I think I'm going to bring my spearman to the front line and let the slinger go back and rescue this city. But you'll be able to see now that, yeah, my production has increased quite considerably. I'm getting this encampment in quickly and we're going to rush through. I'd like like a great general. I want at least one early game great general if possible. Now don't forget with your units you can upgrade them and also move in the same turn so it's always worth picking up those upgrades where you can. I'm gonna scatter my slingers so that I don't have any opportunities for any one to get hit more than once. Move the warrior to the front line and the commandant general is just sort of stood behind doing nicely as well so that's all good. Portugal boo! Boo hiss. Um, they're all the way over there. Actually, that's ages away. Yeah, the warrior got hit a couple of times. That's fine. That's fine. We don't mind that at all. We can move our units up a little bit. I can... Oh, yes. Hang on, actually. Lord Sucklington to that tile. Then I can attack and hopefully get the kill. No kill, but that's fine because I can get the kill with that unit and then move the vampire forward, get the kill with that unit. Look at that. And now I have a grand total of plus four and plus three. So don't forget, city-states don't count as barb troops. They count as regular troops. There's the incense. Incense will give me a lot of nice early game gold and I'm just going to quickly buy this iron tile. Um, unfortunately Mogadishu's uh, units are not going out because I haven't claimed it as my own just yet but there is a uh, wheel and iron working bonus and I've got iron now coming in. I can also just take 95 gold up front uh, that will give me 269 and that's almost, no it is enough for the battering ram, pretty much exactly. Bam, look at that. 
Beautiful. Second source of iron. There we go. And it does sell pretty well to the AI, actually, so we always have that as an option. Move my slingers round. We'll get one attack, two attack like that, and the vampire gets even more strength, which is just lovely. Oh, Portugal have actually just claimed the Mittler um, troop. That's a little bit frustrating, actually, because I was going to kill that troop and I can't be bothered to go to war with Portugal because I don't know where their army is. So that's that's a bit frustrating. Never mind. So we have Mittler surrounded, which is lovely. I do need a shrine in Bogota quickly in order to start sending missionaries out. But there is no religion near me, which is quite handy so nobody is opposing the pressure of it so it is starting to spread slowly my troops are way way too weak to actually do any damage to Mittler and actually with that spearman in yeah even standing here is just a fool's errand because I'm not going to do any damage to it so back we come for now I wait until I've got swordsmen up I really don't have long until I can get my first swordsman actually so that's pretty cool so I'll just keep my troops nice and safe we'll just continue to grow my industry it's not a bad little starting spot we've got here it, it, it feels a little bit slow but not too bad at all oh hannibal would be an amazing general but i'm actually looking forward to the general that gives the war weariness reduction that would be a pretty handy pickup for me let's just go for let's just have a look at this let's go for one holy site prayers and then encampment training after that point and that's my capital is just going to race through the projects to try and get these early game units could be very handy for me here now perfect the spearman has been tempted to leave so that's quite handy slinger you come to there let's get to there let's move you across and get you to pull back i kind of want to just sort of convince them to fight in the open field for a second and then i can go and claim mittler in a second go and attack me you know you want to you know you want to Oh, no, they're going to move to there. That's actually more handy. I like that. I like that even more. So what we'll do is we'll go to there. I'll go to there. I'll move to this one. I'll move to this one. Now my... Yeah, okay, this is good. My vampire is near the spearman. I can attack from multiple sides with my slingers. And then the unit is trapped. So there's nowhere they can go at this point. They're kind of just stuck there. Some decent enough holy site spots. But what I'm actually going to do is get the government plaza built in this city. It seems like a weird choice but I want to rush it through and get Pingala in uh, and upgrade it as fast as possible because at the moment my seven science and three culture is being outproduced by the AI rapidly and they're going to just accelerate into this game. We need to make sure we don't fall too far behind. Now one of the things I could be doing is rushing archery rather than swordsman but the reason I want swordsman is because it increases my vampire strength massively and also gives me something with a battering ram to take down these city-state walls so that's quite handy for me. So will the spearmen just fortify or will they attack somewhere? No, they're just going to fortify. That is the best option for me. And Mittler just had a volcano, which means its walls are broken. Wow, that's pretty lucky. We don't mind that at all. Let's just get Lord Sucklington to wait there. I'll get the spearmen to make the kill. And now Lord Sucklington can cross the river and that spearman is kind of there as well so yeah we're just taking our time taking our time just sending a trade route to Mogadishu because it's going to give me a nice little surge of gold and it's going to build a lovely road through these rivers and as soon as I declare on Mogadishu which I will do soon uh, I can get the trader back and put another road down so it kind of works for me pretty nicely iron working done good um, this is the general I was looking at actually that would be the one to get if I could Although my encampment training is giving me some gold, but it's not going to be enough to get the points through, I don't think. So we'll just keep an eye on that one. Also, lovely little upgrade here. I'll go warrior one, two. I need 110 gold. I've got a bit too much iron here, so I can just sell one iron for enough gold to make the swordsman. That is a 35 strength unit. And now Lord Sucklinton's hitting with 54 strength. Oh, yes. Well, now that I've rushed that, I think I need infrastructure and I need support units. So I could go down for engineering to get catapults. Now, the plus one movement I get on my troops makes catapults very, very effective. But I'm going to go writing, uh, we'll go writing irrigation archery wheel like that. I think that's the order we want to do it because there's a luxury I want to pick up. There are resources. There's always stuff, you know, there's always stuff. It's, it's all good. They're attacking my spearmen. But again, that's pretty handy for me. That's kind of what I want them to do. I've just stolen a builder. That's pretty 
pretty tasty. And now I can get my Spearman to do a single attack just to break the walls down a little bit. My Swordsman's gonna just come around and just get ready for a second attack. And you know, oh, this is almost sometimes too convenient when you get opportunities like this and Spain are just leaving their units open. Like, are you sure you want to do that? I could just go to war with you here and I could just steal that settler, which I'm tempted to do. Yeah, you've just very much uh, kind of trapped yourself there. Um, although, to be fair, yeah, actually if I move my unit to there and then I can put, I just need to block all the available tiles that they could move through at this point, which I think I've just about done if I move a builder onto this tile. So I just need to I'll make the calculation in a second and make sure that we've got enough movement. But you can see Swordsman comes in, the walls of Mittler are down and Lord Sucklington can be the one to help destroy it. Or I could go and see if I can move my units down to my... No, we'll just... We'll go and take this city out first. There you go. Mittler's taken out and I've killed the Spearman, which means Lord Sucklington's even more powerful now. So even though we've got a minus six, we have plus four and plus five. So it's plus nine from kills so far on Lord Sucklington. That's a good combo. Mittler's taken. This will probably trigger an emergency from the AI, but I don't mind emergencies as long as we can just have a little bit of fun. I'm actually just going to see if anybody, yeah, Germany wants a joint war with Spain. That's fun. What about Portugal? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay, so I can get Portugal in. Portugal's already in. Germany now don't want the war. Weird. Okay, well, they did want it a second ago, so I've no idea what's changed their mind. Gilgamesh is in, and as you can see, oh, that's annoying. They've kind of moved their unit a little bit because of the border stuff, but that's okay. Um, oh, yeah, Mogadishu, actually. Oh, they've got Mogadishu. Oh, the slight miscalculation. Never mind. What I think uh, I'll do is just focus on trying to steal the settler. Oh no, you're not going to be able to move. Never mind. Um, one, two, three. I'll move my builder there to try and get the warrior to go and steal it, and then I'll move Commandant General over to that space. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Oh look, there we go. Yeah, they've absolutely left themselves in a targetable place. In fact, I can go, oh, there's a horse. Be careful of the horse, Ursa. The horse is not going to be so tasty for you, but I can maybe go sling it to that tile, sling it to this tile and go one attack. Oh no, that is the kill. There you go, Lord Sucklington's taken the Sattler. It's all looking tasty. What are you gonna do, City States? You're just gonna attack me in random places or are we going to be chill? No one's ever sure if we're gonna be chill. Oh no, no, they're gonna just attack us in random places. That's good. Can my vampire stand next to and get visibility on this kill? I'm just having a think about this one. No, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Let's just move you down a little bit. I'll get you to attack. Just get a nice three chunk of health off whilst they're embarked like fools. This slinger has the opportunity to get garrison, which is brilliant. This one, I'm going to give Arrow Storm. Then I'll move Lord Sucklington down and we can go for one attack, two attack. There you go, another kill. And Lord Sucklington is just going to hover in the middle or are we gonna just charge on Mogadishu now? Uh, I think we will just sit here for a second. This Spanish counterattack, I'm just a little wary of, just a, just a smidge wary of. Oh, Spain have just levied all of Mogadishu's troops. Okay, that just means they didn't move last turn, and it means that they've just paid loads of money to have loads of troops die near them, so you know what? That's, I'm cool with that. That's that's fine with me. Pingala needs Connoisseur first, and then I can start working on the culture. We've just got Early Empire, that's good. Political Philosophy will give us the combat strength from Oligarchy, I believe. In fact, did I just get two promotions in one go? I did. Oh, I get Researcher at the same time then. Amazing. Oh, Bogota. Come on, do that. Yes, look at that. More yields. More abilities, more yields, all the best stuff. Claim Great General Boudicca. Actually, you know what? She's pretty cool as well. So we'll pick her up for now. Now I'm pretty sure that everything stacks, but we'll just be, yeah, look at that. Plus five from Commandant General, plus five from Great General. Oh, it's all a good case of just stack those benefits one after another. Lovely stuff. Now my slingers are not gonna get the benefit from these attacks because Boudicca is just too strong for their little tiny minds, but 
What I can do is just move my other units around now and start the advance. Can I get that kill? Oh, that's almost a kill. Yes, 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 yes. I'm looking for a bit of a yield drain from Lord Sucklington there. Um, let's just go for that kill like so. Brilliant. Even more power. We're just focusing on getting all the power we can at the moment. So I lost the slinger, but my slinger died right next to my own vampire so my vampire actually got stronger because of it that's uh accidental but a good result for me nonetheless now you can see my slingers are able to upgrade into archers now i am just selling any luxury resource that i can at the moment because it's worth way more to me in gold than it is in amenities but as you can see any arch upgrade is a good upgrade and i will take it the swordsman comes in to get the kill on that warrior oh yes lovely stuff and am i able to get this kill as well yes i am and that was oh i didn't even have buddha near that was could have been even stronger cool this is a good combo i get 104 gold from pillaging this towel and i get the health on top of it so it's like what more do you need in life i want to rush urban warfare so we'll get commando on that swordsman and then can this swordsman almost get the kill it can almost get the kill so i'm just going to pull back a little bit so that I can attack with that archer and then get the swordsman killed again just improve Lord Sucklington even more so we're now attacking with 59 strength Lord Sucklington will be the unit that I use to basically do all of the unit killing that's kind of their their priority in this game so I'm taking four damage from a city strike um, that volcano just went off again and unfortunately has just burned down this luxury but I'd already traded that away so that's that's okay I don't mind it when that happens it's like it's not gonna do me any any harm Spain got a religion yet I think they picked up a profit yeah very recently um, that would have been last turn so we could try and take them on whilst they have my crusade religion in I haven't actually had the opportunity to spread it just yet I now do have enough faith but I just haven't been building the shrine but that's okay I think we'll just keep these kills on Mogadishu nice and clean we'll keep on doing this and maybe yeah we'll try and take Seville I think actually taking Seville would be really handy how much population have we got 16 Ooh. Ooh, that's quite tough maybe Vatican let's just consolidate Vatican and maybe go for Berlin instead yeah I'm actually gonna see if I can peace out with Spain that would be probably the sneakier move yeah look they just just flipped a Shinto so my religion won't be fighting well against that and Spain unfortunately gets extra combat strength against me because Spain are like that Never mind. One attack. Uh, we'll go two attacks and then Lord Sucklington themselves will take Mogadishu. That's another city taken. We're now on the sea. We have a harbour with a trade route opportunity. Actually, that trade route opportunity is pretty cool in itself. And I think I'm just going to charge in on Mogadishu. Uh, sorry, on, on Vatican. Like in for a penny at this point <laughs> we've already taken two city states out if we're going to trigger an emergency then it's going to happen regardless of whether we want it to or not so i'm going to leave maybe one or two archers on the northern border with a slinger and move this one down and give it the promotion and then we'll just go and take on vatican classical era and oligarchy plus three combat strength on the units that matter i think i will go for is it worth going for strategos we'll go conscription because that saves me a bunch of gold a gogi is looking good maneuver i don't have any horses just yet so do i want to go for the uh i will go for great general points for now we'll work out whether or not that's worth it in the longer run but if i can possibly get like sun Tzu or someone like that that would be pretty cool how many turns into the next era 12 turns minimum let's just settle next to this natural wonder that gives me three era score and a seven gold four culture tile if that doesn't help to improve my nation i don't know what will Vatican, by the way, has zero army, so I can just run in on them, even though my units are kind of weak and half dead. It's okay. We don't we don't mind that. We can just move our units through and go and heal by pillaging all this farmland. That works perfectly. In fact, I want the raid card almost immediately, so we're going to go games and recreation into military training. Good chance to make peace with Spain if we can. Oh, they're not going to be happy with that. Uh, they're in a mood. Sometimes the AI gets in a mood and they're just like, no, I don't want peace. And you're like, okay, okay, we'll, we'll play it like that. But, you know, when, you, when you're ready, when you're ready to come and chat, I'm happy to. It's all fine. Mogadishu is a really good city because it's got a lighthouse in it already. The food growth in it is going to be pretty impressive. This may become my my sort of de facto capital after a while, even with the, the trading benefits to it. 
I like it. This is, this is awesome. You know, actually, now that I've got the shrine, what I might do is just wait 10 turns and then go for Exodus and give myself missionaries and, and apostles that can spread way more. I can pick up a settler at the moment and I'm tempted to settle near here to get myself even more iron but also some horses, a pearls tile, there's a lot of good stuff over in misdirection so I might just do that. Yeah, I'm going to do it from this city because that'll grow next turn to get population last. Yeah okay I've ch changed my mind on what I'm going to do with my faith but it's okay we we don't mind changing our minds every now and then. And with this, the opportunity to strike at the Vatican has presented itself. Huzzah! What we're going to do is basically... Actually, I can't just skip through. I was going to move my swordsman around to that tile, but I can't. The five movement is handy. Actually, I can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the builder, then come round to this tile, like so. Lord Sucklington will approach from the north and this two injured swordsman brigades are basically just gonna like chill to the south of Vatican for a second whilst my reinforcements arrive. Boudicca can make her way over to this tower which is pretty much the only one that will benefit all troops apart from where my, uh, my general is and there's the battering ram. Now Lord Sucklington can't use the battering ram but because uh, there is spare movement there. I might as well strike at the wall for a considerable chunk of damage and you can actually see my swordsmen have enough health to survive a couple of attacks there and knock the defences off Vatican. So what I can do is I can actually promote pillage, pillage, pillage and then next turn I should have plenty of health. Now what I'm going to look to do is basically follow this road. The road stretches to the east of Vatican and I suspect that links up with some German cities. If we can just continue the offence along this southern direction, we should be fine. We should be able to just roll in. I have, however, picked up an amber from inside Bogota, which means I have another luxury and all my cities are now stable. We are just keeping an eye out for how much gold Gilgamesh will offer us, but it's not enough at the moment. I'd rather keep the stability. I also have this swordsman. He's able just to approach on Seville undisturbed, which is good. So I'll just steal the gold and I'll just keep coming in. And as long as there's no walls up, I can just keep attacking, attacking, attacking and pillaging whilst I'm there. Very tasty. I'm just going to keep an eye out for Spanish reinforcements. If I see anything too scary, I'll pull back immediately. But for now, I mean, there's no point attacking the city itself, but I can just pillage everything, including a bunch of faith. The more faith I can pillage, the more I slow down Spain's religion, and then I can just improve the speed of my own. Now, this is the turn. You can see my swordsmen have at least four movement speed because I get plus one from being Grand Columbia and plus one from my great general. That means I've got enough to give myself the commando promotion to pillage, to pillage and to pillage and now I've still got enough movement to move my units in to actually do some damage here as well. Attack with one archer, two archers and actually I think Lord Sucklington's just going to make this attack themselves unless I want to pillage this tile next turn which I think I do. So ugh, annoyingly Portugal have moved their scout to this tile so I can't actually stop Vatican from resupplying but that's okay I'm actually going to just wait a turn. We are going to wait a turn and just let my units continue to heal actually. I'm just going to go one forward and then move you to if I move you up to there and then you to there. Oh no you're going to allow yourself to go there. There you go perfect. In the meantime Bogota is actually from an infrastructure point of view doing really nicely. It's my Pingala city. I do want it to do well so I'm just going to go granary and watermill. I don't need to rush the ancient walls. I'm building ancient walls in Quito because that's going to boost engineering for me and then I can try and seize a couple of catapults. I mentioned before catapults are insanely useful for us and actually that's the statue of Zeus in Germany. If I can pick up statue of Zeus that leads me the option to actually go for pikeman rush as well as man at arms rush. And that will effectively double the capacity of my military. So we're kind of keeping an eye on the map, seeing what we can do. Oh, Gilgamesh is settling closer to me. At this point, I have no intention of doing too much settling myself, apart from with this settler. So I don't mind that at all. A bit more gold. Look at that. Unstopped. My archers will make a strike each because right now I might as well take the three experience. I'm going to let this swordsman rush in this direction to scout out and do some reconnaissance for us. It's quite a long road but yep it leads straight to Germany which is a wonderful thing. As I've got a builder in this city there's nothing to stop me actually pillaging these gems and getting the bonus for them as well as just there you go, healing on the road and I think I might as well make the swordsman make the attack. Vatican's taken 
construction given to me. It's all looking very nice, actually. I can immediately start fixing everything with the builder and moving Lord Sucklington onwards. The attack must continue. It must always continue. Look at that. Suddenly, we have ourselves seven cities and a street surprise southern road to Germany. And the best thing about this, actually, is this huge mountain complex with Everest in it. There's going to be some amazing holy sites, there's going to be some amazing campuses. This will prove extremely useful for me later into the game. I am building Warlord's Throne slowly, very slowly. In fact, actually, I'm just going to improve the infrastructure here next turn by getting a trader, and then we can get a little bit more production by linking the road up with my capital. That's Pretty nice, actually. We can do that. And actually, it might as well use that faith because I'm just about to pillage a bunch of it from this holy site. So that's that's awesome. And it looks like there is a way to escape around the north as well. So we'll keep that in mind. That's a third swordsman. Very good. I'm nowhere near the crossbow upgrade, so I might as well just keep these archers moving for now. Let's go and just fix those gems. Again, another luxury for me. No one's really buying for much at the moment, so I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, I'm going to keep my resources to myself. So far, nobody's really offering me too many decent deals. Who's this? Venice. Venice is ages away. Oh, Granada's being taken over. God, goodness me, the AI killing city-states. How dare they? <laughs> <laughs> Who would do such a thing? And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Salty Tech, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Doughboy91, Sean Cortez, Morag, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Emir EC, Henry, Rom88, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boyzaro. Thank you for all of your support as well as everybody generally who interacts with the channel. It's fantastic. It keeps us going. Goodbye. See you next time.